Hello everyone. In this video we will compare three water pumps from two different manufacturers of approximately the same rated strength. I will start by unboxing a brand new AquaSpeed 6500 I purchased online. Then we will run flow tests that approximate the conditions in my NFT hydroponic system. At the end of this video I will compare the results and the prices we paid and we will name the winner, which surprised all of us. To me, uh, unboxing videos are kind of like politely waiting for someone else to open their Christmas gift while I wait my turn. So I'll run the unboxing of the A6500 in double speed while I set up the more interesting pump comparison part of the video. We have five water pumps running in our greenhouse and we keep a spare to use if one breaks down or while we're performing regular maintenance. Keeping good water flow is a battle for us and when the pump or lines are partially clogged, the plants in the last NFT rows suffer. We're also trying to run our greenhouse completely on solar, so we need to get the most out of our pump for the electricity it uses. We mainly use the AquaSpeed A6000 and have four currently running. One, on one tank we're running a Rio 26F that I purchased a few months ago. I planned a comparison of the Rio versus the AquaSpeed, but I wasn't happy on how I set up the test so I didn't publish the video. I didn't really think it was fair. Okay, there is no instruction sheet or parts list in the box, but all is pretty obvious. The pump comes with four rubber suction feet and three adapters. All of the adapters have a 25 millimeter or one inch threaded male in to connect to the pump inlet and outlet. The smaller adapter is a straight 19 millimeter for a smaller outlet tube. The larger adapters have a spade type one inch connector and the only difference is one has a thinner wall, presumably to be used on the inlet. I will run the pump test also in double speed video. To simulate reality, we measured the distance from the bottom of my nutrient tank to the outlet level of my NFT rails. This was 134 centimeters. The test was set up accordingly and we used a one inch or 25 millimeter inside diameter hose. We are filling an 80 liter barrel. We verified it is exactly 80 liters prior to the test. I posted the rated liters per hour and the maximum head height for each pump in the top right hand corner of each video test. And now for the results. The more important measurement to me is how much flow I'm getting per watt. Tested for my system head height, the winner is the AquaSpeed A6000 with 78 liters per watt hour. Thank you for watching. Take care and God bless.